Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing the legendary Iron Man version of uh, the better one of this mod. Today we're going to go for a bit of an easier mission. We have infiltrated, over infiltrated it. Uh, matter of fact, it's time for some smash and grab operation Iron Fire. Let's get four crates. Um, we are taking a relatively inexperienced team into this mission. Uh, Well-rounded, um, sharpshooter, specialist for the backline, shinobi ranger, frontline, assault, uh, grenadier kind of midfield. So looks like a good team. I like it. The only concern that I'm having is we need to almost come out of it flawless in order to then go to South Africa because there's already the next mission that we need to infiltrate. Um, yeah. Without further ado, Operation Iron Fire. Here we go. We landed. Got ourselves a nice little wilderness terrain. High ground. Oh boy. And the crates are super far away. Well, let's use our shinobi. and try not to get detected. As long as we're staying hidden, no timer will start. But the moment we're being spotted out, everything will start to get way less pleasant. Good, we're not fighting this turn. It is simply a normal movement. The idea is, as always, we want to go as close as possible to the crates. <clears throat> and I figured in order to shorten the video length, I'll just cut the enemy turns unless something important happens. Continuing to move closer. Well, we got enemy turrets, but that in itself is not a problem. We quite, we can easily move around them. The drones are a bit more of a concern. Good, let's move everyone down here first and foremost, and then we're going to deal with the turret. Good to go. Under different circumstances, I could even see us completely ignoring the turrets. But I think that that is part of uh, the enemy baseline. We know, knew it was a moderate baseline coming in. So it's not surprising that we're seeing a lot of enemies. And I don't want to just bypass them. I'd rather take less chests. And instead use the experience to level our troops. All right, and we're back. I need to take a short break before the action begins. As I was saying, we want to make sure that we engage with the first pack. I don't want to have another pack essentially um, flanking us. Let's move over here. Wow, yet another tower. That's tough. <clears throat> I'm immediately thinking if it wouldn't be long war, 
we could simply explode um, the underlying um, uh, the underlying rooftop that the towers are standing on because that would uh, kill them immediately but given that uh, destructibles or uh, um, or that objects are almost indestructible with our grenades that's not going to work out yeah I can't get too close instead let's move over here the whole idea is to get in position because next turn I want to start uh, the combat So, taking over one of the turrets certainly would be nice as well. Alternatively, taking over the drone. For now, let's just shut it down. Which will not break concealment. Oh no, we're not taking in 98%. We know better than that. We know better than that. This here is XCOM. 2% chances are real. No, in all seriousness, the drone um, is not going to reach us next turn, so that's why I didn't take the chances. Plus we have already moved everyone. I didn't want to be exposed. So there's the next pack. Berserk plus two mutants. That is a pretty beefy pack. Because problem is that we can't take them all at once. We just can't. Too many hit points. So instead, I would probably say let's really shut down the drone. We could use one of those. If it fails, we can still move back Let's get it good that'll take care of uh, the drone for our next turn and I would argue we are simply waiting for one more turn. Got it covered. Overwatching. I'm on it. Scanning. Yeah, let's overwatch. Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Once they are out of line of sight, we can engage. And they are moving. Which is good. We know they are standing right here. And there's another drone. Okay, I'm not terribly afraid of uh, the second drone either. Core idea is we're going to deal with the towers now. So, uh, baseline was 15 enemies. We got three towers, two drones, that's five. Another three here, that's eight, which means seven more overall. Okay, well, towers are still pretty beefy. 
do we have shredder on any of our soldiers? Does not appear like that. Um, we're saving a protocol for now. Instead, let's position ourselves here in full cover. Confirmed. And start this. <sighs> it's going to suck so much armor. Suck. All right. Well, we're still hidden, and we should keep it that way for now. This is not going to be a killing blow yet. Hmm. Let's start lighting up this tower here, because no one else can reach it. Even with AP rounds, he can't get through it. Wow. Okay, so that's eight effective hit points, minus two from AP rounds, so six effective hit points, which means this here should be a secure kill. Good job. Yeah, we're a bit outgunned in this scenario here. I mean, we could move up to here. But I really don't want to risk um, drawing the attention of any of the mutants, right? Hmm. Too little damage. Let us instead move up here. We only have three more soldiers. I don't want to lose concealment yet, so we might uh, we might take a small step back to here. The drone, which is currently here, will probably fly across uh, him without noticing. Alright, moving up so that we're out of tower range. Well, or not. Maybe there's yet another tower. No. Well, there isn't. We just triggered it now. Worst potential time to get a grazing shot. Out. 
full cover. Can't believe we're still not being able to kill the uh, kill every single one of uh, them. So this is definitely not a kill. This here might be one point of damage for the tower. Gosh, we're, we're lacking firepower. Just in case, I'd like to make sure that we're getting out of here. Well, this here is at least going to shred them and set them up for next round. <laughs> okay, we used all of our firepower and yet we were unable to kill a single one of, uh, oh, well, we killed one tower, but that's about it. The armor really is a bummer. There's not much we can do. I could have started uh, with using a grenade and basically reduce the armor on both of the towers. That would have been probably the better play. Yeah, and now we're stuck with a lot of drones and mechanical units coming in. Fire over here. Wow, yet another drone, okay. So much for our protection. Whew. Okay. Good, let's start. Drone is being taken down. And the tower is being taken down, good. In the background I saw a silhouette here just well, as the camera angle was changing, so I think the uh, the enemy pack is right there. All right, eight protocol for ghost, making it a full cover. Let's continue with the surveillance drone here. That's it. Good, and since we can't steady our weapon, made it, might as well make sure that we're hitting the other drone. Uh -huh. 
Interestingly enough, we're really using all of our shots and we're hitting all of them as well. Yet, the, just the amount of hit points that we're, uh, that we're chucking through is impressive. We're continuing to have our position here. I'm ready. Reloading. Let's get that drone. See that one? Okay. All right. Moving up. Yeah, we we just can't rush in. That's not how it works, boys. Gotta be careful here. I don't want to trigger anything accidentally. And two crates are gone. Maybe we need to adjust our forecast to only one crate. That's kind of our target. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. And Bradford, in typical Bradford style, tells you, "Well, I'm sorry that you suck, Commander, but you should have done better." Sure. Kill three drones, kill two towers, so that's five down. One more tower. I think I need some help. Oh, wow. Into full cover. Well, so much for the for the perfect run without an injury. Hmm. Let's get some better Shooting angles. Positioning ourselves over here. Matter of fact, since we can't take a shot anyways, positioning ourselves in full cover. Locked and loaded. Orders confirmed. On the move. Needed to reload. Okay, do we have any crates somewhere near? Oh, look at that. This here seems as if there would be one crate and another one over here. We might as well be able to get that one. Moving into full cover. Hmm. Moving to here. Uh, because we can use the time to heal. Okay. Pretty slow turn because we needed to reload. Which usually happens. It's very common uh, that after like one or two rounds of 
of firefight, people simply need to reload, or your soldiers simply need to reload. Or reposition. Got a few overwatches going. That's an advanced advent captain, a grenadier, and a gunner, plus another drone. So we killed five, six, that uh, would be ten, plus a three, double mutant berserker, thirteen. Uh, I'm not sure if that's enough as a baseline. We might be missing someone. Good, our turn again. We're aggressively moving forward. Nice shot. Not sure why exactly we started to trigger them. It's okay. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Okay, so... <coughs> Let's get rid of the turret first. Check it before you get too close. And let's mark the sergeant next, just in case. There we go. to stand in half cover still afraid of the pack over here by the way shit that was our only crate oh my gosh they are taking away all of the crates is there any single crate over here any chance crate someone This mission is more brutal than I would have uh, imagined. Moving on target location. Okay, time for <coughs> some rapid deployment. Let's see, it hits at least two, if not all three of them. nice and now hopefully we can remove uh, the cover make that whole thing explode uh, we can't well at least we shredded them which is a, uh, which is a good starting point Hmm. So we only got the Advent Sergeant inside. I 
could move all the way over here or here which would be full cover I like the idea of full cover and since there's a very low chance that we're pulling another pack <coughs> because we already engaged with uh, most of them I'm actually willing to do that Okay, so good chance to kill him. Moving into full cover here. Let's take it. If we could take over the drone, that would be a perfect scapegoat. 75% is good. Come on. Oh my god. Oh. No. All right. That didn't work out. It's too well, shielded. well, either it's too well shielded or you suck. It must be either of the two. Good, so body shield against this guy here, minus 20 aim and minus 50% critical ch uh, uh, hit chance. And it's time to join the fight. They see me. Not too shabby. Data pad is okay. And let's get the surveillance drone. Not too Gonna need to reload soon. Well, there's another crate over here, so the dream is still alive. Shots into half cover, thanks to the distraction that doesn't work out. And there's the overwatch. Okay, cool. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Okay. Let's try to snipe the target in half cover. Very nice. If we're lucky, that is a kill. Probably not. Uh, too bad. Good. We got lightning reflexes, which should take care of uh, the overwatch. And that should be a kill. Good. This hopefully is another kill. Absolutely love the sword, uh, sword upgrades. It's one of the features uh, that they 
have done pretty well, I think, in Long War. Upgraded the sword damage throughout um, uh, throughout uh, all of uh, the melee attacks, which I think was pretty much needed. Moving into full cover. On your order. And a good time to reload. Ready to rock. There's a small chance that we will get one crate. And then just get the F out of here. Time to go. All right, the dream of the crate is very much still alive. Whatever you say. There we go. Mark it and never look back. I mean, we could go here, but that would be incredibly greedy. And it wouldn't be worth it. The mission with one crate counts as a success, and the first crate gives you by far the most um, supplies. Everything else afterwards becomes diminishing returns. We'll take one crate because we need the soldiers healthy and in a good uh, good shape moving to position got it moving All right, moving everyone towards the exit zone. Can our sniper theoretically leave in one turn? The answer is no. So we're going to move him closer. Two overwatches. And we're going to get one crate. That's all it takes. One crate, baby. There could have been an argument made that we could have shifted all of our like movements to the left side, simply ignoring the towers in hindsight. That would have only left us with a few drones, one pack, and I don't know where the mutants have been going. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1 5. Yeah, but that's hindsight 2020. Overall, we only took one shot into full cover from a tower with a low aim, so that was simply bad luck. It happens. So let's get out of here. and reuse this team in order to field the next Let's mission go. in South Africa. 
Given the amount of kills that we've gotten, we might even get a promotion. And look at that, I mean, reinforcements would be coming in now. There wasn't much that we could have done, to be uh, to be to totally honest. The pack with the mutants in the berserk alone would have probably stalled us for another round or two. Mutants are super hard to hit. Oh, holy. There have been more enemies here. Well, we did the best we could, and it was a successful mission. And there we go. With cutting out the enemy turns, we probably saved around 20 minutes, almost. Well, not as much, maybe 10 minutes. Which is good, I'll continue to do that. Uh, we have five promotions, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, let's take medical protocol. He will get a couple of good abilities later. For now, we're fine. I like the precise shot. It had helped us quite well in the mission. Um, Ross Swordsman Cunningham. I like the cutthroat, but we need to make sure that uh, he's uh, actually a better scout, so I'm going to go with uh, the re reduction in detection radius. I like precise shot. I also like lone wolf. But precise shot is probably more important. I mean, we can fix aim, but we can't fix the damage, specifically with his weapon. So, let's go. Yeah, there won't be successive shots, so that talent is unfortunately not very good. Bring it on is really good. Uh, Combat finesse is supreme, and rapid fire is just extremely good. Unfortunately, seven days of um, of uh, sick bay. Nice uh, nickname, by the way, uh, dynamite for a grenadier. Thematically fitting. I like it. 10% bonus to critically hit enemies. Uh, that's pretty good. I also like covering fire. And she got rapid fire as well, as well as low profile. Well. We're going to save the points for rapid fire and low profile. I like the crit though. 10% flat crit is essentially um, a stacking laser sight on top of whatever she's using. Now let's still wait with it. And we're taking Formidable. There we go. I like the Dead Eye option. That's not bad. I'm just asking myself once we have Rapid Fire whether or not we still need uh, Dead Eye. I mean, Rapid Fire is so busted in this uh, version because it has no cooldown.
and giving him essentially sentinel and co a covering fire would mean we have an overwatch machine at our hands. Evasive is pretty good as well, so a couple of good abilities. Let's go for covering fire. Yeah, 10 supplies. I mean, it's not perfect, but we got a data pad and we got five promotions, which is probably the real reward of the whole exercise, getting all of the promotions. Good, let me double check one little detail here. To seek out new means of replenishing our resources. How is the status on, on this group? Well, good news. They would be ready. So with the exception of Dynamite here, who's wounded for seven days, we're doing quite fine. And Zirkim is back in action, so he could be leading all of them into the next mission. Great. Which means the rookie uh, team would be ready. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this is lagging crazy. Good, we got ourselves, I think it was uh, this mission here. The elders don't make a habit of looking for me. Nope. They haven't been on the best of terms since they found I had been hunting some of their pets. The raid isn't what we were looking for as well. There we go. Ambush the advent troops. I don't believe that baseline. Something tells me that that is a honeypot mission. Where we're going to get ambushed quite a bit. Good. Let's get a team together. Right, here we go. So we fielded our team and Zirkim is going to be the one uh, leading that team uh, essentially into battle. The baseline activity is 7 to 9 and I almost can't believe that that is true. So I am <coughs> somewhat expecting that we're going to see um, a Chosen here. Let's give Zirkim a mind shield. just in case. So we got the same team as before. I think we're a bit short overall uh, in the healing department. Let's make sure that we can fix that. One second. One way of doing that is simply giving the rookie uh, med kit, which we take one rookie with us. Um, A, because we do have still room and plenty of time. And B, this year can be a promotion ground uh, for the rookie. And all we invested is a laser rifle and a predator armor. So it's like, what, 70, um, 70 supplies plus the cost of the rookie. So the entire equipment here is less than 100 supplies, which is fine. Probably even a less, uh, less than 80 supplies overall. Um, so yeah, that team could do it. I'm not sure on the uh, on the infiltration time. I didn't want to to have too high of an infiltration timer. So seven days is pretty much already the upper uh, limit. Uh, because the longer they infiltrate, the longer they cannot do something else. And we're almost done with another smash and grab um, scanning in South Africa. Plotting 
Gosh, the missions are popping in like crazy here. Well, the warlock has uh, reduced our income. That sucks. The elders never had any issues targeting but we're ready to do another smash and grab, so that could be our source of income. This time in Lima, and with a very light baseline, we should be fine. Got another rookie here. A couple of corporals. Oh yeah, that was the leftover team. I remember. <laughs> we just put whatever uh, whomever we had available at that time into the team anyways that's going to happen in the next mission another smash and grab guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next run and bye bye